I was in art school and I remember this because um, I wasn't making any money you know you make music so people your parents your friends you know not so sure that you're doing the right thing because maybe you should do some other thing and stuff like that so you know I was still searching and it took me a while until it became my profession and when I was in uh, in this kind of art school and the level by the way was very very low like very very low like very low <laughs> and I remember actually that's funny because it actually goes back to wisdom of the glove so the I wanted to be maybe a graphic designer on top, so maybe I can make some, you know, work as a graphic designer and keep on doing music. And so I was going to, to school, and then they asked us to do this, um, it's like a something, a, pa a part of the body, but not on the computer that actually exists. And I was like, at first, I'm not, it's not my thing. I don't know how to do it. I'm like, I don't, I'm very clumsy. I, I want, I want to study some softwares and maybe work in that thing. And the teacher insisted, insisted, insisted. So, always, and this is like maybe my relation with art, that I think art can, you know, either uh, paint a picture of the reality, but also can criticize the reality. And I think in general, my position in this world is to make people ask questions of like how it is like this and how it is like that. So, I was the, the rebel in the class, so I had to do to show her, don't stress me with this fucking thing that I have to do. Do something that will express my feelings, so maybe 10 minutes before, no sorry, not 10 minutes, like an hour before I had to go to class, I took a nylon glove, you know, the one that you won't wash dishes with or like pick, pick up uh, things. I put water in it and I put like a stick and I put it in the freezer, so it becomes like a, a hand popsicle. So it's like it was popsicles and I went to the class with it and by the time I got there the thumb was already melting so it was like going like this and I said my art is against museums and it's momentarily and then the next 15 minutes it's gonna melt and disappear so that's my and you can't and the teacher she's looking at me and she's like this is fucking horrendous but she has nothing to say no, that's art that's art and I think part the, the thing that art art having my life my my dream my wish is at one point because it's funny because you know that people are talented and people doing many things but in a very weird way you're an artist to be when people acknowledge you as an artist and when you acknowledge as an artist but then basically everything you do is art and that's like take Stockhausen like he did enough, 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 uh, enough uh, uh, compositions in his life to reach the point that his most known composition is silence. And it's like 45 minutes, and you know, the, the, this, that's his most, I mean, if you sell to people, that's his most, maybe, his, I mean, no, I don't know any, the, I mean, I know some of the, the composition, but I don't know the names, but silence, and then for, 45 minutes people sit like this, you know, and just listening to nothing, and in the end they clap, that's my wish in life to come to this point when I'm just like, ah, it's art. This is art. But before you have to work hard, you know, to, to actually to get to this point that people. Um, and and yeah, I think in the in the techno world, unfortunately, uh, the the music is very, especially in techno, the music is very. There's a lot of uh, concept behind it, and it's all about nuance, it's about like little things, and there is lo lots of art in it, <laughs> but it's related to parties and to people taking drugs. One of my goals, and some people like Richie or like Villa Lobos, and some people is to try to not convince the people, but for me, for me to, I could, I, I play in Miami, I don't know, a few times a year, but I'm very, I don't know, Thing, thing lucky that I can actually play it during this art week because the, the people that are coming are different and there's like more time to see all of this around and yeah it's pretty amazing and I love Miami it's my favorite actually I would say right now from the modern cities of the world it's my favorite city yes I just love I love Miami I love Miami Vice I love everything about this place and people, a lot of people think it's tacky, but actually it's very classy. All of the hotels, yeah, the people who come can be very tacky, but all the hotels, the way, you know, 
It's very vintage, very 40s, 50s, 70s. It's cool, it's cool. 